Well, we went ahead and highlighted some of E3's most iconic goofs that became internet memes, so now it's time to show off some of the best moments found in the event. So let's count down the 10 greatest E3 moments. Number 10. Sony Destroys Microsoft Back in 2013, Microsoft revealed the Xbox One and delivered some policies that left gamers feeling rather sour. Sony heard their cries and used Microsoft's failure to their advantage by delivering some of the best smackdowns in the industry. They curb stomped their opponent when they revealed their price, their online policy, and this little zinger as well. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. PlayStation. Number 9. Want a Revolution? Back in 2005, Satoru Iwata took the stage ready to reveal the revolution of Nintendo. With relative ease, he pulls Nintendo's next home console right out from under his suit, and the crowd goes nuts. Number 8. Price of PlayStation It's amazing how back in 1995, Sony just had to utter some simple number to make the audience go crazy. $299. That's right, by confirming with relative ease that the glorious Sony PlayStation would be $100 cheaper than Sega's next console, Sony sealed the deal on their future. And what a future it has been. Number 7. The Remake Revealed For the longest time, fans have been clamoring and speculating about a remake of one of their favorite RPGs of all time. Not mine, personally. Hell, it's not even my favorite Final Fantasy. But I'd be in denial if I said Final Fantasy VII wasn't a powerhouse of a game and a genre-defining entry. This little video years back ignited that fire, and not only did we get trolled by Square in the previous year, but with a company up to their eyeballs and unfulfilled promises, many thought the day would never come. And then this happened. Holy mother of Rama! We are actually getting a remake of Final Fantasy VII. Number 6. Gabe Newell Father of Valve, Gabe Newell, was always pessimistic with console gaming, particularly Sony. So imagine our surprise in 2010 when Newell himself came out to eat some crow and announced that Portal 2 would be available on PlayStation 3. Huh, I guess some people do change. Number 5. Available Now Back in 1995, Sega was confident that their newest console, the Sega Saturn, would do wonders. Though Nintendo didn't intimidate them, Sony, on the other hand, did. When Sega caught wind of Sony's aforementioned bombshell, Sega decided to jump the gun and declared the Saturn was available now. That's cool and all, but the only problem was, neither the stores nor developers were ready for it. Still, at that moment, it was quite the announcement. Number 4. Melee Reveal When Nintendo shows off what games they have in store for their fans, you get some of the greatest reactions in the history of E3. Case in point, Super Smash Bros. Melee. This is the first public reaction where you can tell how much these characters mean to the gamers. The cheers, the awes, the applause, all of it got people hyped to settle it in Smash. Number 3. Live Zelda Orchestra to celebrate the Zelda franchise's 25th anniversary, Nintendo thought it wise to show us a preview to their now super popular Symphony of the Goddess Orchestra. What we got was one hell of an opener as we listened to a medley from this glorious series. Have a listen. Number 2. Sony's 2016 Conference It seems someone else was impressed with Nintendo's idea because in 2016, Sony decided to up the ante and provide a live orchestra throughout the conference. Hitting the right mood and really immersing the audience in these trailers, Sony had 2016 in the bag, and it was one of their finest moments. How will they top that this year? Well, maybe they could do what Nintendo did back in 2004. Number 1. Twilight Princess Reveal no Zelda reveal has ever been as potent as Twilight Princess, though to be fair, Breath of the Wild wasn't really given a fair chance. Still, what a way to end a conference by giving the fans something that would make them go crazy. 
This video gives me goosebumps so bad that I actually can't watch the original trailer without the audience reaction. <laughs> After all, that ending transition to Miyamoto standing proud with a Master Sword and Hylian Shield seals this as the single greatest moment in the history of E3. Did we miss a great moment? Let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.